Why do we light a memorial candle, and when and how is it done? By Yehuda Sherpin. Early Precedent There is evidence of Jews lighting candles to honor the deceased as far back as the Mishnic period, approximately 2,000 years ago. The Mishnah states that one cannot use the fire of the dead for the Havdalah blessing on Saturday night because it was lit not for the living but to honor the dead. Additionally, we find that Rabbi Judah the prince, who was actually the compiler of the Mishnah, commanded his household before his passing to leave a lamp lit in its place. Although this phrase is usually understood to refer to the Shabbat lamp, some point to this as a precedent for lighting a candle for the departed soul. But why? The verse states, The soul of man is the lamp of God. As such, the candle serves as a remembrance of the departed soul. Additionally, based on this soul lamp comparison, there are many reasons given for lighting a candle, several of which we will touch on here. Filling a void. When a soul departs from this world, it leaves behind a dark void. The memorial candle serves to replenish this light, bringing joy to the soul. Rabbi Bakai ben Asher (1255–1340) explains that the soul derives joy from the candle's light, as the verse states: "The light of the righteous will rejoice." How come? The soul is made up of divine light, and it is natural to delight in something that is of a similar makeup. This is the case even though the candle generates mere physical light, whereas the soul's light is spiritual. Atonement for the Soul With regard to the custom of lighting a memorial candle before Yom Kippur, Rabbi Asher ben Yaqil 1250-1327 explains that we light a candle to atone for the souls of the departed. The verse states, For the lights honor the Lord. When we light a candle to honor God and the merit of the departed, God promises to forgive and watch over their souls. Wick and flame, body and soul. On a more mystical level, a candle represents a person's connection to the divine. The lamp, including the wick, represents the body and the flame represents the divine soul. When a candle is lit, both the wick and the fuel combust in an upward-looking flame of light. Through learning Torah and doing mitzvahs, the body is subsumed by the soul and becomes spiritual energy. A flame has three components. There is the inner blue, or blackish part of the flame, which hugs the wick and consumes the oil. Then there is the bright body of the flame, which provides the light. Lastly, there is the third level, the subtle aura that surrounds the flame. These three parts correspond to the three components of the soul that are most closely associated with the physical body, nefesh, ruach, and neshama. Some, including Kabod, have the custom to light five candles during prayers throughout the 11 months that Kaddish is recited, as well as during prayers on the Yatsri. Corresponding to all five levels of the soul, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Kaya, and Yahida. When to light a candle? We light a candle when the soul is more present in our world. Since the soul begins its upward journey in gradual stages akin to an aroma that slowly dissipates, the custom developed to light the candle during the first week of Sheba, when the soul is most present, and since the soul's ascent is not completed until the end of the first year, Kabad and others keep the candle lit until the year has passed. During the times when we are to remember the deceased, we light a candle in memory of the soul. On these days, Yatsri and with Yitzkor is recited, the soul has permission to travel back to this world that it left behind, so we light a candle for its delight and memory. 
Some, including Kabod, have the custom not to light a candle on the days of Yitzchor is recited, except for Yom Kippur, for then, as explained above, the souls are judged and we light in their merit. The custom is to light the candle after sunset on the eve of the Yatsirit. If the Yatsirit is on Shabbat, the candle is lit before lighting the Shabbat candles. The candle should burn at least until after night falls the next day, as an example, the end of the Yatsirit, and should be left to burn out on its own. If the Yatsirit is on Sunday, then the candle should be lit after evening prayers and Havdalah. What kind of candle? For mystical reasons, some have the custom to specifically use an oil lamp for the memorial candles. Others, including Kabod, try, only if easily obtainable, to use a candle made out of beeswax. The reason for this is that the Hebrew word for beeswax is Shava, which is an acronym, albeit rearranged, Awaken and Sing, who dwell in the dust. This verse is an allusion to the time of the resurrection, when we will all be reunited with those who have passed on. When even an ordinary candle is not available, one can use an electrical lamp instead. While candles are important, remember that there is something even more beneficial for the soul. The soul, once it ascends to heaven, can no longer perform any mitzvahs. However, when we, especially the person's descendants, learn Torah, do mitzvahs, or give charity in the merit of the departed soul, we are giving the greatest gift and honor to the departed. The merit of these good deeds benefit both the departed soul as well as those down here in this world doing the mitzvahs.